The many-world interpretation is one of the most logical ways of explaining the paradoxes of quantum physics. This interpretation is based on the mathematics of Hugh Everett. In his equations, each parallel world branches off at right angles to each other. In some ways, this is similar to the branches of a tree. Therefore, we have an infinite number of parallel worlds or universes to our own universe, but forever cut off from it. This forms its own paradox. Where are the parallel universes of the many worlds interpretation? The theory explained in the rest of this video overcomes this paradox. This is achieved by a continuous process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. An interior of a sphere is three-dimensional and therefore it will naturally form the three dimensions of our everyday life with the surface of the sphere forming a dynamic two-dimensional surface for the holographic principle. In such a theory the information for the three dimensions of our everyday life is encoded on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere in the form of positive and negative charge. The inner concave surface represents negative charge and the outer convex surface represents positive charge. Photon energy forms a movement of positive and negative charge and in this theory the future is unfolding photon by photon with each photon electron coupling or dipole moment. This is a universal process with charge being an innate part of all matter. Whatever we do in everyday life there is always the movement of charge as a process of energy exchange. At high temperatures in the form of plasma charge can cover a whole star or even a large area of interstellar space. This can be seen in a solar eclipse when magnetic field lines can be seen in the Sun's outer corona. This forms one of the most prominent parts of this process with photon energy cascading down from the Sun forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential forever greater symmetry formation that we see in the diversity and complexity of cell life. It is because this theory uses the holographic principle that we only need three dimensions and one variable in the form of the continuum of time. By explaining a process of continuous energy exchange, the many worlds or parallel universes are just potential future possibilities within our one three-dimensional universe of continuous change, continuous creation. The right angles in the mathematics of Everett represents the magnetic fields always being at right angles to the electric fields forming electrical potential within each reference frame. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the center of their own reference frame this is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together forming the movement of electric charge creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.